Finally, with the return of Peaky Blinders back on our screens, I thought now would be the perfect time to share with you a snippet of a tutorial that we created when shooting for Garrison Taylors. Stephen Knight, the creator of Peaky Blinders, founded the company because people were dressing up as the characters and they wanted that Shelby style. Now it's my job not to create images necessarily of the garments, but to create atmospheric images in which you are likely to see those pieces. Now in this video, what I'm gonna show you is how I created the look of an old bar, which could even be the garrison itself, in an old cricket club. Now there's a lot of props and smoke and mirrors at play, but it was a lot of fun to create. If you enjoy this video, this is only a small section from a larger course available on learnwithhannah.com where we document the entire shoot that we did for garrisons. So if you wanna get 20% off, use the code SHELBY 20 at the checkout. But for now, take a look at the video and let me know what you think in the comments. So for this shot, I really want to rely on the ambient light. So I've popped a couple of little lumps in there, going to mostly be relying on those, but I definitely want to be shooting at 2.8 because there's a lot of stuff in the back there that is definitely not from this era. So I want to blur that out. So firstly, I need to get my ambient shot, just like always. Then I'm going to decide whether we need to add a flash and if it's going to be a fill flash or if we need to do something specific with it. So firstly, let's get the ambient shot. All right, so trying to get the composition, like there's quite a few bits that annoy me about this because if I shoot too much this way, I'm going to have a line coming straight down Luke's head and I don't want that. It also, I think I might try and frame it so his head is in that white area there. But the problem I have now is that our lamps are coming out of strange places and overlapping. So, Rob, the one that is not the furthest back, yep. would you mind just moving that to away sort of that direction? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just, just a little bit. Uh, that's cool. Let's try that. Definitely gonna have to move the other one, but that's a good start. Okay, cool, because nah. I think if you can just move the lamp on the table, just like the table's good, but just move it a little bit further. Thank you. Yep, let's try that. Great, that's good, that's good. Excellent, oh, actually in this framing, that's pretty good. Now, Luke, can you move that lamp that's on your table? Mm -hmm. Can you move it a fraction towards the window and a little bit more towards me, please? Wonderful. Now that should mean that those two lights don't overlap either. Good. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, look, if you could just kind of like look towards the window just a little bit. Excellent. Cool. Okay, so I don't like that that is giving you an up light shadow. So we need to definitely do something to, to fix that. To fix the strange up light shadow on the face, I asked Luke to move the lamp back towards him. So the other side of his face will now be in complete shadow. So what I do know is that I'm going to be on a tripod for this because the ambient light has to be let in somehow and I'm shooting with a 70 to 200 to compress the scene. So what I don't want to do is have any camera shake. So on a tripod it is for now. Judging by the amount of shadow in the last shot, I think we need something to lift that a bit. So we add a 1x3 softbox with soft grid. I've positioned this to the right of the frame so it will look natural with the existing light from the lamp and we won't experience any cross shadows on the face. Can you feather it just a little bit for me, Rob? So just twist it in it away. Yep, good, that's nice. This is looking better already as we see more of Luke's face again. Perfect. You know what I want to... Can we get that on the light stand, do you think, or no? Uh, not in this position, but it's... Right. Uh, no. I can try it. I don't think it's... No, I think you might be right. I'm just trying to see if we can add some... Sm oh. Thankfully, we managed to get this light on a stand and still out of the shot. We need some more atmosphere in here. We could rely on just that. But the first thing I'm going to do is let's try. I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a flash outside, I think. Here I have Rob outside with a full CTO gel on a B10, which I'm going to ask him to aim back through the window to light up our smoke. Very good. You're right out there, Rob. I've turned off the key light so we can see exactly what the backlight is doing. This is illuminating the smoke very well so far, but I've spotted something else going on which I need to fix. Now one thing I am noticing is we're getting a bit of spill onto the nose, so we've, but the problem is I need the light facing this direction in order for the smoke 
to, to show up. Um, so what we're going to do instead is actually, I'm going to try using this curtain, because I don't like it anyway, but just to flag that off so it doesn't hit Luke's nose. Okay, let's try that. Cool. All right, that should. I mean, we're in good shape. Right, let's try this. Brilliant. Great. Well done, Luke. Perfect. This is looking much better without the light spill onto Luke's face. Now that we're happy with our background light and smoke, next to turn our key light back on to see both lights working together. This looks good, but yet I feel the light on Luke is now too cold compared to the warmth of the lamps and background haze. I add a half CTO gel to our key light before mounting the softbox back on again. This now warms up the image and looks more natural. The CTO gel has also absorbed some of the light, so the key light exposure is a little lower, which I think balances out nicely. Whilst it may not look like the key light is doing much here, if we compare these two shots, we can see the difference compared to just the ambient and background light. Excellent, we're not getting any spill on the face. Perfect. Great, I'll do it one more time, one more smoke. This is great. Now the reason for making sure it's illuminated from the back is that when you're lighting up smoke or rain or anything like that, we need a light from behind. Problem is, as I say, it doesn't make sense that there's a kicker on Luke's nose coming from this direction. It would be from that light, if anything. So we've got to make sure we flag it off so we don't run into any problems and it just basically doesn't look really fake. So one more time. Get loads in there. All right, cool. Brilliant. Oh, nice job, Luke. Well done. Cool. Can you do that pose again? Um, I want to do... I want to bring your hands together around the whiskey. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Well done. I love that. And looking down as well, just tilt the hat a little bit too. You can bring your head down a little bit. Looking straight down at the whiskey. Good, I love it. Then back to me again. Just make sure I get that focus under the hat. Good. You can lift your head just a little bit now for me, Luke, as well. Looking down in that direction as well. Wonderful. Good. And then bring your nose back towards me here. Awesome. Well done, you. We decided to stick with this step, but I asked Luke to get changed. I've been sent several outfits to shoot, so I feel it's worth shooting the grey suit with blue tie in this setup to give the marketing team more options. Cool. All right, I'm going to do one more spray of smoke. Let's come around here, and then we can play with the pose a little bit. Good. All right, lovely. Let's just get that one one more time. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to move that other arm back onto the table so your left arm can come back on. Great. Really nice. Excellent. I'm going to have you looking down as well at the table. Move the focus point as I do that. Oh, I quite like that. Great. Well done. Oh, I quite like you not, not looking at the camera too. These are great, Luke. Well done. We just make sure there's enough smoke visible in the back there. Yeah, good. Excellent. We shoot a few more frames with this outfit in this setup, which I think is working really well together. Bring your, your chin up a little bit this time. Yep, awesome. Very good. Let me just focus. Good. Look into camera too for me. Great. And then down at your drink, but keeping your head up a bit. Yep, you got it. Now I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it gave you a little insight into what it's like to shoot commercially for a client such as Garrison's. Now don't forget this is one section as part of a longer course available at learnwithhannah.com where we document the whole of the Garrison's shoot and use that discount code SHELBY20 at the checkout. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.